Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video I love watching. I love watching what's in my bag videos. I don't know why, I don't know what makes them so appealing, but I love them, I've always loved them. Um, and I always thought like, if I have YouTube ever, I'm definitely gonna do a what's in my bag video. So that was like one of the first videos that I did and it went down quite well, it's one of my most viewed videos. So I thought, obviously people like watching them too. So I've got a new bag and I'm going to show you. So this is my bag. It is a little mini guest backpack, backpack. Um, and I bought it at a designer outlet center. So it was like 39 pounds, I think, which I think is so good. I've been looking for a backpack for ages now because I'm going away tomorrow to watch my boyfriend racing and being at a racetrack with a handbag and like trying to carry around, I don't know, your phone, a book, maybe, chargers, snacks, <laughs> whatever you want is quite difficult in a little handbag. But I wanted a mini one because I don't want to be like, here I am ready to go. And I thought I was gonna have to settle, but a girl shouldn't settle. I'm one of those people that if I have something in my mind, I won't buy something that's not as good as what I'm expecting. So I'll just keep waiting and waiting till I find the right one. Basically it has one main compartment here with a really good zip. I'm really into good zips. I always have been, ever since I was like at school, I used to like pencil cases with really good zips. I Me and my friends used to like test them and be like, six out of 10. Then it has a front pocket again with a good zip, but I caught it on something. Let's see what's inside. So I'm just gonna grab willy nilly because there's quite a lot in there and I'm gonna try and get the bulkier stuff out first. So first thing are my Mew Mew sunglasses. I got these for Christmas last year from my boyfriend and I love them. I love the packaging, I love this velvet. And then I love that it also comes in a nice inner case thingy. Oof, I just love Mew Mew. These are my glasses and I love them. I really, really like these. I never get bored of them. And yeah, I've never had really nice sunglasses before. So I think this has been an eye opener. It's been game changing. I wear them all the time when I'm away. And now that it's summertime, I can get the Mew Mews out. Next bulky thing is a book. It is I See by Claire McIntosh. And I haven't got that far through it. It's like a thriller type thing. I think it's gonna be really, really good. As creepy as they come, it says, wonderfully sinister. A gasp inducing ending. Who doesn't want a gasp inducing ending? Okay, so next thing is really boring because this was in my last video. This is my purse, it's a Michael Kors purse. It should have a little chain thingy hanging off, so I'm guessing that's in the bottom of my bag somewhere. I don't think that there's anything new in here, so I will link my previous What's In My Bag video in case you wanna see what's in my wallet. There's quite a lot in that like receipts. This is where I get my hair cut. People often ask me where I get my hair cut and unfortunately it's nowhere in like London. It's in Sirencester, which is Sirencester, which is in the Cotswolds and it's called Avella. I've been going there since I was like 12, 13 and it's really, really good, really cheap. And I see a girl called Tamsin, she's very, very good. The next thing is Dr. Pawpaw. I hadn't heard of it till recently and mm, Life has changed since then. Basically, it's all like Vaseline in like a squeezy tube and I love Vaseline for everything. It says it's for lip, skin, hair and beauty, finishing cuticles and nails, fragrance free. So it's basically does anything you want it to do. It's got no fragrance and it. it's not offensive to the skin. So I put it on my eyelids actually at night and in the morning because I get really dry eyelids. <sighs> love it, love it. Next thing I'm grabbing from my bag here, notebook and pen. I said in my last video, I always have a notebook and a pen. I think I sold this on my sister. I don't know if this is the one I had in my last video. Just in case I need to write something down. And I actually have this pen that my friend gave me. I think it's from Paper Chase, Lil Biro. And I love macaroons, so perfect. Just so you know, I'm still digging from the central compartment. That's how big it is. It's like quite makeup-y now. Kind of makeup-y, let's have a look. Okay, oh, this is good, because I quite enjoy this. This is, the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I never usually do my brows because they're quite bushy, but I did them today. Did them today. Now I'm looking at them, I'm like, bloody hell, they look massive. But <laughs> had a meeting with Benefit, so this is why it's still in my bag. Um, but I used this today, using it regularly and testing them out. And the spoolie thing is the bit that you really need. Because any mistakes, you can just smush them around, get rid of them, make them look more normal again. Really, really like this brow pencil and I think I'll be doing my brows more often. Although if you think I look crap, tell me in the comments below and I won't do them again. Next. Next, I had this in my last video too, but it's got different fragrance inside. It's like a little, little perfume dispenser thingy. 
scent. It's actually got a perfume in it that I'm really, really enjoying. I'll show you it. I'll show you what came in. This is the perfume that I have put into here. The like set came with the funnel. It's by House of Worth and it's like a Beauty and the Beast edition, so it's called Belle. I got sent this in the post and I was like, I think this is gonna be really cheap, kind of children's perfume. But you open it up, let me you open it up and it's like, ow, girl. You open it up, carefully open it up, and there is the perfume. And it smells amazing. It's not childish and fruity and girly and gross. It's so good. So yeah, that's what's in this for when I'm traveling around. Next in my little bag is a mini uh, nail file because I'm trying not to bite my nails. If like a little bit comes off my nail, I struggle to not bite it. This saves me so much. Hidden within the little phone compartment of my bag is the lipstick combination that I'm wearing right now, actually. So it is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love uh, in shade Proven Innocence. A very nice pink. I didn't used to be into pinks, so I used to be into more like nudes. But in the summer months, I'm into it. And then what I've put on top is this Beauty Pie lip gloss, which is in Sugar Bun. To me, it seems very similar to like Bobbi Brown. So the next thing is another lip product from Guerlain, and I really love this one. I love the packaging. It smells amazing. And it's actually not really very lipsticky. It's more lip glossy, but it looks very lipsticky. So they're confusing me. It's like a light lip gloss and it lasts for a long time without getting really bitty. So the next thing in my bag um, is a receipt and the product that I bought. The receipt is for Boots, and actually it's my brother's receipt, so chicken and bacon sandwich, seven up free, and this. So I owe him some money, which is why I've kept the receipt. 5 99 fantastic. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer that I've heard so many good things about and heard that it's exactly like the NARS creamy concealer, which I've never used. Um, but someone told me that it's really bad for sensitive eyes and sensitive skin, so that's why I didn't buy it. But for some reason I bought this when everyone said it's exactly the same. But I have tried this and nothing happened to my eyes and I thought it was really great. I bought it in the lightest shade, which is number 10. And I actually really, really love this so far. And the consistency is fantastic and really long lasting. It doesn't crease under my eyes. And I think I actually prefer it to the eye eraser one that I use at the moment. In comparison for the NARS one, this is 5 99 The NARS one is like 18 So, hun. Getting that one. Reaching the very bottom, and the last thing, oh, sorry. The last thing in the main compartment is my phone. iPhone 6S, and got such a boring case on it for a phone case lover. But I bought this on Depop, um, and it's one of those like Chiara Ferragani dupes, um, and I'll try and link that below. But I just really like this for, it's thin. Most of my other phone cases are really, really fat, and it goes around the tops, so I like that. But other than that, it's quite boring. Now that we have emptied the bag, we can have a look at the actual bag itself. It is this really nice metallic -y color, sort of pinky silver color. Um, and someone told me there was a pink, I was so irritated that I didn't get that one. But inside, it's just a really big, nice compartment with a phone section. There's also a zip here, I don't know if I've got anything in there. Oh, I zipped up. I've got something in there. It's a ring. It's a nice ring. This is my Thomas Sabo ring that I got for my graduation for my mum. It is just a really nice band ring. I don't know how well you can see that. It's really, really nice and sparkly. She'll put that carefully down. That is the main pocket. And then I have the smaller pocket at the front. Not entirely sure it's in. Oh, I know what's in here. Okay, so first, a receipt from TK Maxx. Women's shoes, women's shoes, women's shoes. I bought a few pairs of shoes from um, TK Maxx. Because I love TK Maxx. I can't often find shoes that I really like and shoes that fit me and shoes that don't hurt me because I've got funny feet. I will show you what shoes I bought actually. They're not obviously in my bag, so this isn't what's in my bag. But it's what does my receipt say and correlate to. The shoes that I got from TK Maxx. Pair number one, and these are a size, woof. It says UK seven, hun, I've got tiny feet. These are a size five. Seven US, I see, 38. Um, so these are the first pair, they're really, really comfortable. I have quite wide feet, so they stretch quite nicely. You can just find such good things in TK Maxx, especially if you've got like weird feet or anything weird, there's always something for everyone. I got this pair 
of Steve Madden shoes and these were 19.99 and they're like one of those little like wind the tassels up around your leg kind of shoes and they've got these really nice little pom-pom detail thing. I also bought a pair of fluffy grey sliders but I think I put them on my Instagram and they're in my wardrobe somewhere so I will let you imagine those. Okay then back to my actual bag. In the front pocket is, that's it, this funny little machine called Tep. So as I said, I'm going away to watch my boyfriend racing in Le Mans. There is no Wi-Fi and my phone doesn't work abroad. So I was looking into like one of those little things that you can carry around that supplies you with Wi-Fi. And I found this company and you basically rent this box and you send it back. So I haven't used it yet because it's for France. I've heard so many good things about it. It has eight hours battery life. You can add like up to five devices. So I'm gonna use my laptop, my phone, and then I can do some work whilst I'm out there. And I can also use my phone when I'm walking around. Just think it might be a little bit dull. What do they call them? Doggle? Doodles? And I will link this in the description box if you are going traveling. So that brings us to the end of my what's in my bag video and I hope you really enjoyed it. I will link my previous one in the description box below as well as everything I mentioned today if I can find it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and, and I will see you next time.